Well, a controversial lesson plan had parents and local political groups protesting tonight outside the Farmington School Board meeting. On the agenda, administrators were set to discuss initiatives on diversity, equity and inclusion. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast was there at the meeting and explains the controversy seen outside that very meeting. Brett. Well, this is not the normal meeting site, but because of the expected crowds, the district actually moved the meeting into the auditorium here at North Farmington High School and had over an hour of public comment. On the sidewalks outside North Farmington High School, protesters made clear they don't agree with what's being taught inside. What we have a problem with is replacing equality with equity and an equity that puts America last. Local Republican organizers helped hold a press conference outside, upset over the district's diversity, equity, and inclusion program. In particular, a 21-day equity challenge last fall. I believe the intent of the challenge was equality, but I think it did exactly the opposite. I'm frustrated. In front of the entrance, others in the community gathered in support. We moved here for the diversity. I want that to continue. The specifics of the challenge are no longer available on the district website, but those in support say these programs aren't meant to divide. There are these extreme lies that have been told that are saying that we're trying to raise uh, their children, in particular white children, to believe that they're racist and oppressors, and that's an absolute lie. During the meeting, the district said the 21 day challenge was an optional exercise with daily posts and weekly Zoom meetings. It never was intended to stand alone because absent the context and the dialogue, individual pieces could be misinterpreted or even misrepresented. This 21 day challenge isn't educating people it's selling seconds. them their own oppression. Despite some pushback, the district says the majority of responses have been positive and that the diversity, equity and inclusion program will keep moving forward. There will always be groups of dissenters, but just because they can come up with rhyming slogans or make themselves loud doesn't mean they represent the majority of our community. Now, on top of those in attendance, there was also a change.org petition circulating among parents in support of this program. And so far, it has over 600 signatures. In Farmington, I'm Brett Cast, 7 Action News.